Hi, people. You welcome to Opportunities Worldwide. There is a new exciting challenge called the Lead 2030 Challenge for SDGC. It's sponsored by AstraZeneca, uh, the manufacturers of the famous COVID-19 vaccine. Uh, one of the benefits of applying for this and winning is that you get access to money to scale your innovative health and climate solution. And also you'll get a chance to attend the One Year Gold Summit 2024, happening in Montreal, Canada. So let's read about this. How can we solve health and environmental equity? Through the Lead 2030 Challenge for SDG3, we will be granting 50,000 US dollars to a small innovative youth-led non-profit organization which aims to solve the climate and health challenges facing young people today. In addition to the grant, the winner will also receive a fully funded scholarship to attend the 2024 One Young World Summit in Montreal, Canada, as well as mentorship by AstraZeneca and inclusion in a development program through the YHP's Impact Fellowship. So what are they looking for? A young leader aged 18 to 30, working for or leading a non-profit organization with drive and determination to make the world a happy a healthier place for people. Innovative solutions that have the potential to be scaled up. Nonprofit projects that aim to close the equity gap by helping marginalized young people access greater health care while incorporating elements of environmental sustainability and or stewardship. A locally led right-based approach which focuses on vulnerable and marginalized youth, focus on local and national advocacy approaches that aim, that aim to engage with decision makers and policy makers to influence positive legislative change. So they invite a wide range of ideas which would range from developing youth climate advocacy capability and health awareness, promoting carbon friendly solutions to address health equity issues, support climate health entrepreneurship, targeting food waste and enabling healthy diets and beyond. Important to note that most delegates are between the ages of 18 and 30, but the selection committee will consider applications from those who are older than 30, pending dem demonstration of appropriate personal impact initiative and willingness to change. So let's look at the application form. Okay, before that, the criteria. We've already looked at this. We should be aligned with SDG3. So the solution should also be proven. That is, it should be ready, available, being piloted, implemented, or scaled. It should be impactful. Solutions must have a potential impact, for example, generating educational outcomes, internet opportunities, or developing skills. It should be measurable, financially viable, it should be scalable. And applicants must be able to propose a six to 12 month project that identifies and explains barriers young people aged 10 to 24 experience in relation to accessing healthcare in their community. This could include, but is not limited to health literacy and awareness, access, experience, or outcomes of healthcare. Proposes an innovative solution to this problem and clearly demonstrates how it will positively impact equitable access to healthcare for young people aged 10 to 24. is designed and delivered in an inclusive and non-discriminatory way, working with marginalized and underserved of vulnerable young people. Okay, then there are also some criteria for projects that should not bother applying. I'll share the link for you to read at your own pace. Let's look at the eligibility. Nationals of all eligible countries may apply for the scholarship. Applicants must demonstrate a positive impact related to leading climate or health equity projects, access to the internet and a device that will allow them to participate in live online fellowship sessions, proficiency in English, Ability to fully participate in person at the One Young World Summit in Canada in September 2024. Ability to commit to a one year fellowship program and attain at least 75% of modules or activities. Ability to lead and manage the implementation and reporting of the non profit project from the fellowship.
Okay, applicants must also be founders or leaders of registered non-profit organizations that meet the following criteria. Have been registered on the operation group for at least three full years, have had a total reported income in the last financial year of more than 100,000 US dollars, and less than 2 million US dollars. Uh, that the non-profit should also be funding ready and able to provide appropriate documentation in English to AstraZeneca's grant making partner and the charities our foundation to verify their organization's charitable status, governance, and financial institutions. So let's look at the prize. So the, the winning solution will receive a scholarship to participate in the One Young World Summit. A $50,000 grant from AstraZeneca, 12 months of mentorship from the AstraZeneca team. And then the winning individual and solution will benefit from access to network, access to development, access to funding. And then this is the timeline. 19th month is the application deadline, 8th May, winners notified. 22nd May, acceptance paperwork deadline. and. 18th to 21st September, that's when the one young girl turned into a So let's look at the application form. So this is the application form for the Big 2030 Challenge, OSDB4, supported by AstraZeneca. As you can see, it's quite lengthy. It has up to 10 pages. The first page that I'm on and I'm on by data. So you'll come and type in your name, country, email, and the like. So let's go to the next page. The next page is about voluntary diversity questions like your gender. If you're neurodiverse, if you have a, di a disability, let's move on to the third page. That page is about you. The first thing is to write your biography. If you don't know how to write a biography, I'm going to link a video in the description because I already made a video about making a biography. Uh, why are you passionate about SDG3? Those who don't know SDG3, let's look at it. SDG. If you don't know what is D3, I'm also going to share this page. That's this page for you to come and look at the different targets and indicators for SDG3, because one of the challenge rules is that you should your solution should really be aligned with one or more of the targets and indicators for SDG3. Okay, let's go back to the application. You'll come and read the SDG3 targets at your own pace. Type the name of your organization, the country, where you're operating, website of your organization, and social media links for your organization. Uh, the fourth page is about the progress you've made. How long have you been working on your organization? The positive impact. The really simple questions that you can answer. Depending on your solution, what does the organization do? What year was the organization established in? Remember, they said the organization must be existing for at least three years. So make sure that your organization is minimum of three and a maximum of like maybe six years. How much are you operating income has the organization had to the past three years? And also, remember, they said your organization must have had at least $100,000 as revenue for the past year. So don't put anything less than $100,000 when answering that question. So how does your solution help to solve the new 2030 challenge for SDGs for, supported by AstraZeneca? Uh, please ensure you have read the specifics of the challenge outline. They said your, your solution should be aligned with SDG3 targets and indicators. So You'll come back to this page for targets and indicators for SDG3. And then 
you make sure your work is really aligned to these indicators. What are these? What marginalized or underrepresented groups of young people? Is your solution intended to primarily reach? So you come and type that there. Explain how these groups benefit from your challenge. How will you create the incorporate environment of sustainability? Okay. Sorry, really these simple questions. Let me move on to the most difficult parts of this application. So there's a video submission that is not compulsory. You're supposed to submit a one-minute video in English that helps us understand why advocating for change in your chosen area is important to you. Begin your video by introducing yourself and providing your full name. Be sure to highlight the community, country, or region that is the focus of your advocacy work. Include a goal or challenge you have over the next 12 months. Explain what steps you will take, and so on. So once you've made the video, you can come and paste the link here. Then visibility declaration, make sure that you've read over instruction, make sure that, that you provided correct information. And once you've read all that, you can select yes, so that you're you're in agreement with the above statement. Do you consider yourself to be from an indigenous community? You can choose yes or no. If you select yes, you'll have to explain why. Then how did you hear about the scholarship? Just leave all the rest. The best thing for you to say is that you are nominated. It gives you an age over other people who just applied by themselves. So you come and put the person who nominated you, and then you select what applies to you here, what you want. Then you will tap on register to submit your application. Guys, if you know any young people between 18 to 30 who are working in the health domain, don't hesitate to share this video with them. Make sure you like this video so that YouTube shows it to more people with interesting materials. And also subscribe so that you don't miss out on such content. Goodbye.